I'm Chelsea Helms. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. The governor's economic COVID-19 task force says we need to contain the coronavirus for the sake of Arkansas businesses. KWA's Lauren Krakow spoke to an economist who explains why you won't see the economy and our local businesses return to normal without health guideline compliance. When you look at the overall stats, things seem to be improving in terms of COVID-19's impact on Arkansas's economy. But one economist's research shows that's not the case for everyone. We've taken every day, day by day, since this thing has began. It's been almost six months since the first COVID-19 case was reported in Arkansas. Soon after, restaurants like the Buttered Biscuit scrambled to change day-to-day -day operations. We were a 99% dine-in restaurant and then went to 100% to ghost. Hunter Kiss Singer is the manager for all three locations in Northwest Arkansas. He says the Butter Biscuit has been able to stay afloat thanks to the community's support. We've been able to do the most that we're allowed to do. University of Arkansas economist Mervyn Jebaraj says even though the economy is improving, Arkansas still has a long way to go. Between surveying Arkansas patrons and using data from credit card processing companies, the end result? There's been a 16% decrease in restaurant consumer spending since the first reported U.S. coronavirus case. The entertainment sector and the leisure sector, those are struggling and continue to struggle and need uh, help soon, uh, or else we'll see a lot of business failures. In order to help the economy stay open, Jebaraj says it's ultimately up to us to do our part in reducing the number of COVID-19 cases. We don't want uh, to lose all of that in the course of one year uh, because we were not able to control the pandemic here. Which is also Kissinger's plea. Right now, we have guests that are coming in and that's helping our business and it's giving us the opportunity to do what we we got in this business to do, and that's to serve our community. And so we're hopeful to continue to do that over these next few months. In Rogers, Lauren Crankall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Thanks, Lauren. Now, there are new restrictions for restaurants with self-service stations like buffets and salad bars. The Department of Health modified its directive today. Capacity of these areas will be limited based on the ability to physically distance from others. We're told an employee will monitor the physical distancing, and serving utensils will need to be replaced every hour.